I'm going to show you how to start using Cricut Design Space so you can use your Cricut Joy because you've now completed the setup. In this video, we're going to be using the Cricut Design Space and we're going to find a free image to cut it out on a piece of cardstock. And this will be like a little practice run before I show you how to get and make this book plate for my collab with Cricut Australia. Hello, my name is Donna. Welcome to another video from Junk Journal Ideas. And as I said, I'm doing a collab with Cricut Australia. When we left off the last video, we were on the Design Space homepage. If you're not here, go to your desktop and left mouse double click on the icon and it'll open up your Design Space and log in if you need to. Now we should be on the same page. The first thing we're going to do is make sure you've got the right cutting machine selected. So go up to the right hand top corner. It should say Cricut Joy. If it doesn't say Cricut Joy here, just say it says Maker 3. Then look at the list and left mouse click on Cricut Joy. Now come over to the center middle of the page on the left hand side where it says projects, images and community. I want you to left mouse click on images. Now it's going to give you a lot of images. The ones with the green banner on it are the ones you need to pay for. So what I'm going to show you is to how to look for the free ones. So go over on your left hand side and check the box that says free. So just click that box. Now everything on the right hand side here is for free. So just scroll down here until you find what you want to use. Right, it's pretty long. So what you can do is come up into the search box here and just type in, a lock. I just type in ship. So I'm just going to cut this ship out on a piece of cardstock. Now once you've clicked on the image you want to cut out, go down to the bottom right hand corner and left mouse click on the green button that says add to canvas. Now in this part of Cricut Design Space, is where you can draw, you can add text, you can add images. I'm not going to do a demonstration on that today. All we're going to do is do a very simple cut of this little boat. But just know this is where you do all your designing before you send it to your Cricut Joy to be cut out. The Cricut Joy can draw and it can cut. So what you need to do now is you need to tell the Cricut Joy from here, the control center, are you going to draw this boat or are you going to cut it out? So to do that, so just above the boat, look for operation. Now before I go to operation, you've just got to make sure there's a box around the little boat drawing. When we left mouse click on this arrow down, at the moment it's selected on cut. So we're just going to do a basic cut. If I wanted to draw, I would move where that gray bar is on basic, I would move that down to pen. So I would just left mouse click on the word pen. But I'm going to leave it on the where it's grayed out on basic because I want to do a cut. So I can just left mouse click on the page anywhere here on the on the mat and that will close that down. So we're just going to now send this straight to the Cricut machine. So to do that we need to go to the top right hand corner and click the green button that says make it. So left mouse click on make it. Remember in the box we had a mat in the envelope. We've got the small mat and we had the smart vinyl. I'm only using the short mat that come in the box. So left mouse click on on mat. And then we just go to the green button confirm. 
left mouse click on confirm. Now the screen changes again and this gives you a look at what your image is going to look like on the mat. So of course this image can't see your cardstock that you've put on the mat but you can just pretend it's there. So now you've got to move your image around until you place it where you want it on the mat. Now get your mouse, left mouse click on the boat and hold your mouse down and then just move it around until you put it where you want it and then you just let the mouse go. So once you've got the image where you want it to cut out on your cardstock, go to the bottom right hand corner and on the green button, left mouse click continue. Now the information on this next screen is asking or wanting to know what material are you using? What did you put on the mat? Did you put cardstock on the mat? Was it heavy cardboard? Was it a light card stock? What was it? So I just selected the first one here, card stock, because it's not heavy card stock, it's just normal card stock. So left mouse click on card stock. It's also giving you an option to select what pressure you want your blade. Just leave it on default for the sample cut. You can add more pressure or less pressure. And you would add more pressure if your cardstock is heavy and you would add less pressure if you were cutting paper. So just leave it on default for now. And the instruction is to make sure you've got your cutting blade in the Cricut Joy. Put your cardstock on your mat. Once you've got your cardstock on the mat, put the mat under these guides here on the Cricut Joy. And then the machine itself will pull in the mat and then you can come back here to your screen in the bottom right hand corner, left mouse click go. Cricut Design will initialize the cut and send the information to your cutting machine and then it will start cutting. I put my design down too close to the bottom of the cardstock. I just did not realise that the cardstock wasn't as long as my cutting mat. When it's complete, it just automatically puts the blade back to the centre of the machine and the mat will sit there. Do not try and pull the mat out until you left mouse click on the green button here that says unload. The mat will release from your Cricut Joy and then you can take it out of the machine. You can peel your cardstock off the mat. To prevent your cardstock from curling, turn it over and remove the mat from the cardstock. And look at the cut. Look at the quality of this cut. There's some pretty fine lines between the ship here and it just does it with ease. Now going back to your screen, on the bottom right hand corner here, left mouse click the green button, done. Congratulations, that's your second test done. I've been using cutting machines for years and when I got my Cricut Joy, it didn't take me very long at all to figure out that I loved it. I can highly recommend it. And I thank Cricut Australia for providing the Cricut Joy to be able to do this five video series to show you how to set up and get creating today. Thanks for tuning in this series and I look forward to seeing you on the next series on how to make this three piece book plate. I'll put all the details in the description box below on where you can get it. Ciao for now.